so welcome back everyone to a new video and finally the microsoft has launched their own pc cleaner by the name microsoft pc manager which was of course available before but it was only available for some limited location and even they have added some new features and option in this new microsoft pc manager now microsoft has always disliked the third party cleaner like c cleaner because they think that this kind of cleaner may harm sometime your computer accidentally like deleting some kind of important registry file and even it happened in 2020 when microsoft windows defender security flagged cc cleaner as a potentially unwanted program so now once the microsoft pc manager is available for everyone so now let's see how exactly this work and is it worth installing this kind of application on our pc or laptop or not so in order to download it you can bring up the play store or you can also bring up the website of pc manager and here you can click on download and it will take you to the microsoft store where you can download the application so once you have downloaded it will come up like this on the right hand corner so you will have to click on start and then it will give you a small box that says use the handy toolbox to access useful windows tool for like a screenshot and many more so now you can click on not now so once the application will be downloaded you will find this kind of dashboard now before proceeding with the features and how exactly it work first let's see that what kind of cpu and the ram consumption is being made by this application so that we can assure her that whether it is a light fitted or not so i'll bring up the task manager here now here you can see the cpu usage is around 0 and 0 0.2 or sometimes 3 or 7 percent so of course the cpu usage is not that high it's good light weighted but if i look in the memory section i can see that around 118 mb is occupied by this pc manager that can be a concern if you have a low uh, ram on your computer but i'm not sure that after some time how it will perform so what we can do we can minimize it and we will check back after some time okay and once you come to the pc manager home dashboard on the top you will find the pc boost option and it shows you the memory usage that what kind of memory usages are done as of now and what kind of temporary file is there in the computer all right so what you can do you can click on boost and it will start boosting up computer by clearing the temporary files now there are some more advanced option like you can click on set a smart boost and it give you another option that is smart boost pc manager will automatically boost your pc with a high usage of ram or there are one gigabyte of temporary file so once you enable this option what will happen in the future if there is any high ram usage it will start working on it to reduce it and even if the temporary file goes beyond one gigabyte it will automatically delete the temporary file so if you want this option to be enabled then you can enable it then you have the shortcut setting where you can just enable some kind of shortcut keys for your computer then in the general setting it says start pc manager automatically so yes you can just enable this option appearance you get light mode and the dark mode don't go with the light mode i really don't like it even it's not that kind of visible so go always with the dark mode you can choose your language so that's all what you get in the home section now let's come to the protection so it says virus and threat protection so of course you have to click on scan it will redirect you to the settings of the windows 10 or windows 11 all right so it will be directly scanning it so basically there is nothing new you are getting here and it's only redirecting you to the windows security then you have the windows update and it will let you know what kind of update are available you can go ahead and update your windows or driver directly from here then you have the default browser setting and from here only you can manage that what kind of browser you want as a default browser so again if you click on change and from here whichever browser is available you can select it and click on confirm now this one i found the easiest method because if you go and do it from the settings it's more complicated but here i can see that it's much easier to change the default browser so that's a good part and then if you go back then we have the taskbar repair it says repair taskbar and restore default toolbar enable default features and you need to check this option of enable widget on the taskbar and click on repair and it will be repairing any kind of problem and i'm not exactly sure that what exactly it do what kind of things it repair and what kind of difference it make but at least i will check that later on whenever i have any problem with the taskbar next you have the storage 
and here again you can click on scan and it will let you know that what kind of files are being occupied how much space is being occupied and how you can clean those kind of temporary data okay so this option you can of course get in the setting as well when you open up the windows 11 or 10 settings and then in the system you get an option of the storage you get all these option here as well but additionally what i found here that there are some extra options that it give you like the large file that you can check out and especially the duplicate file that is a very i can say a very useful feature that has been added in the pc manager because you will not find this option in the settings i'm not sure but i think so that this option is not available so what basically it does when you click on all disk and click on duplicate file so it will be looking for any kind of duplicate file that can be any kind of videos any kind of pictures any kind of document and if there is any it will list you over here and from here only you can delete all those duplicate files so that you can increase the space in your drive all right so this is a useful feature that has been added in the pc manager so this also i like it then you have the storage sense again this is available uh, here as well in the settings only but yes of course pc manager is allowing you to manage everything from one platform only okay and now let's come to the app section and here on the top you get the process management and when you click on it and this will list you all kind of application running in the background now this will help you in the future when you are uh, having some kind of lagging problem and you're not sure what all the application are running then you can simply bring up this option and whichever application you think that you're not using you can simply click on end click on end again and this application will be closed then you have the startup application and from here only you can manage the startup application manage apps again this will redirect you to the application setting from where you can uh, disable or uninstall any kind of application then you have the microsoft store and if you click on it it will bring up the microsoft here now let's come to the toolbox and in the toolbox it says show toolbar on the desktop and if i enable it i can keep it on the right in top or wherever i want to and this will be showing me an option that to boost your computer and just by making one click i can boost my computer speed you can see that i just made a click and from 88 it came to 68 percent similarly there are many other options that you can manage from here only well i don't want to enable it but if you want to enable you can enable it then you have the screenshot option you can just make a one click and you can start taking a screenshot of any picture and again this option is also available with the shortcut key that you can use there is no need to use the pc manager for it then you also have the screenshot folder where you can check the screenshot then you have the recorder captions notepad calculator so these are easy tools that you can bring up from one platform only not too much useful but still it's good not too bad and then we will come to the restore section and let's see what it gets you are all set your pc is using the recommended setting to be secure fast and efficient now what i believe here if there is any kind of problem on the computer if the microsoft pc manager find that there is some kind of recommendation that you can apply or you can try on the computer that all recommendation you will be getting here and accordingly you can optimize and boost the computer speed so this is what all you get in the pc manager and again let's bring up the task manager and i can see the pc manager is occupying around uh, zero cp usage that is good the memory usage that was around i guess 140 mb now it's been reduced to 73 and this is what i was saying to you that let's see after some time whether the memory usage has been reduced or not so yes that's not too much of the consumption of the memory so overall i can say that if you need a basic cleaner and something where you can organize and manage many of the features of the windows 11 then you can of course go with this pc manager because this is a safe application offered by microsoft there are some useful features that i found like the duplicate file deleter and many kind of boosting options so that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this video helpful let me know your thought about this pc manager in the comment section that whether you feel it worth or not and also make sure guys that you hit the like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye